and today we're going to be talking about finance as usual and we're in a beautiful campus so it's a great background so one of the interesting things about campuses like uh, UCLA is that finance has everything to do with every aspect of this university for instance getting here is extremely costly I think uh, most people they they spend a small fortune to get here uh, some some schools cost near 100 to 200,000 and one of the major reasons why people spend this kind of money is a little bit murky a lot of people because these campuses the main reason they exist is ostensibly to really provide the best insight and information that exists in the world but i think that the main reason why people go to campus to campuses has a lot to do with secondary factors like you want to network with the absolute smartest people some people also want to uh, use the campuses as a as a dating pool because it uh, due to the way the campuses work it self-selects and, and brings about the absolute best people in terms of intelligence and and backgrounds that people probably probably like so one one of the major reasons has a lot to do with being in a very small bubble a bubble that people like people like to be in a bubble because they want to they want to they want to be known they want to attend a place where people who don't meet their kind of qualifications in terms of intelligence and experience they're not welcome because if you have a very if you went to high school and you had a very low gpa you can't get here and in a similar fashion if you also are not able to really pay for a campus like this you could take loans but a lot of people uh, are quite understandably afraid of taking out loans so in general you're getting people who are in the upper crust of society who, who attend these schools and i'm not saying that to bash that i think that that's actually a core feature of the campus another uh thing to keep in mind is that people the four years that people spend in college is actually a lot of it is actually fun for a lot of majors there's a lot of parties there's a lot of drinking there are all, countless opportunities to meet really really cool people and i think that's actually one of the major reasons why people go to college in the first place if it were only for if it only was about uh learning all of the great insights the truth is you could probably get a lot of those insights from youtube let's let's not pretend otherwise because that is possible this is that most people choose not to do that and 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 why do why how come how come people would rather pay one hundred thousand dollars to get information that you literally can get in the library you can get it on YouTube and things like that. I think there's a lot of factors there in play. For one thing, universities are really big on tradition. They kind of do things the way they've always done things. They, and in terms of the way the lectures work, the large lectures, and just a lot of the uh, the hierarchies, the, there's a lot of conformity as well in these schools. Uh, like for instance, a lot of people in law school complain about the way way uh, those classes are taught. They, taught. they teach it through the Socratic method. What that means is basically they have you read material and then the professor will ask you really tough questions. And that's been going around for a long time. So maybe, I think maybe possibly two or 300 years. And so what's interesting about that is that despite the fact that these universities claim to be rather radical about a lot of things, the truth is they like to keep things as they are, especially because it works. If, if, you're, if you've been doing this for a long time, you don't want to change. But the, the truth is most industries, people are forced to change. You think Apple really wants to release a new uh, iPhone every single year and be forced to up to up the ante every single year? They, they don't, nobody, uh, I think, wants to be forced into that position every single year. Whereas universities, there really isn't a lot of uh, demand for them to change. Uh, for, one th for one thing, the inflation is way, uh, they're able to just raise the rates. I, I, don't know any, I don't know any other institution out there where you can just magically increase the prices 10% and not really have much of a problem uh, getting new customers. That's pretty remarkable actually when you, when you think about it. One of the other main reasons people come here is to actually make a lot of money after you graduate. 
So the thinking is, I'll spend a lot of money and I'll get it back later on. And that's kind of true if you major in engineering, law, medicine. But a lot of people are majoring in uh, BS uh, studies, just uh, really subjective uh, studies that that really ha that really don't really increase your sense of knowledge of how the world works or even give you a skill that would be valuable to anyone. So, in that case, in in that case, yeah, obviously they're not going to be making a whole lot more than than when they started. And it's a little a lot of people they don't want to believe that that one of the major reasons why these institutions exist as they do is mainly because of the social factor. People like being around other people and going into parties and they like the networking opportunities that exist. That's kind of one of the reason why sometimes you have someone like a Mark Zuckerberg, the major, major reason why they end up quitting a, uh, the educational system like this is mainly because they have a, a goal that they need to accomplish right away. Because sometimes, sometimes opportunity strikes right now and you don't have an opportunity to wait another day. And I think I think that plays a big role for, for someone like him and many other people. Whereas a lot of people, when they're at a university, they don't really know what they're gonna do next. They're waiting for an element of randomness. And I think that's kind of why so many are confused and a little bit depressed because since there's a little bit uncertainty and a big gap between what people are learning in school and what is possible outside of school in terms of opportunities, there's not really a, it's not really a clear direction for many people because they're majoring in uh, in uh, basket weaving studies. It's not very clear where they're gonna go with that afterwards. And I think that's what causes some depression, some confusion and uh, concerns about finances too, because that obviously is not gonna really pay the bills later on, even though it'd be great if it could for many people. Maybe they maybe they could all uh, charge other people for for this kind of insight uh, later on on like on there's a lot of sites online that you could uh, sell in information that you know. Now, I was walking around here and I swear I think I see people using like a like some kind of weird stun gun on each other like a hazing ritual. I'm not sure about that. But it definitely looks weird, but maybe I'm just imagining things. And the ground is really muddy too, so that's good thing if I drop the GoPro, I'm with a GoPro and I can handle this kind of terrible conditions here. Okay, so the other thing about uh, the way these schools work is since they're working on debt mostly, most students are in significant amount of debt, there really are actually in many ways moving backwards because they instead of saving for the future and making investments now they're starting off very early on with debt but not a whole lot to show for it like debt is sometimes okay if it's for the purpose of rate uh bringing in new revenue like you like you uh you go into debt to get like a commercial property that's very highly likely to be rented out or you buy in the stock on margin but that could be risky uh or your or you borrow money for your business that you know is going to do very well although sometimes it doesn't at least in that case it's clear that you're borrowing the money for something that is going to bring in money whereas here i would say that uh getting into debt it usually is a mistake i think that i think that um it's probably unusual where the debt actually uh, where it's a clear killer connection between your debt and actually making more money and unless unless you fall into one of the categories of majoring something that it gives you such incredible in, insight or information about the world that people are willing to pay you a lot more money for it but i guess that's all the insight i have for today and hope to talk with you sometime soon and uh, i'm happy i didn't fall down uh, there in the muddy uh muddy lawn